It's Chris with Better Editor, and today we are wrapping up our short series looking at automation blocks from our friends at Mammo World. These guys have developed an amazing plugin for Premiere Pro that you need to check out because it automates repetitive tasks. And one of those tasks is shot numbering. If you've ever had to number shots for clients, you know that it's a very tedious process and there's no good way to do it inside of Premiere until today. <laughs> Okay, jumping into some more riveting stuff, talking about shot numbers today. If you don't know what that is, a shot number is when you add a number in the top left-hand corner or right-hand corner to a clip of string outs that you're gonna send to a client or to your boss so that it's more easy for them to say, hey, I like clip number eight. Um, the problem with this is up until now, the best method for doing that would be adding a text layer, dropping it into Premiere, and then writing the number eight. And then you would have to, you know, scale the clip and you do this little number and then you drag it over here and you do it again. And now you have to go and make it number seven. And it just takes an extremely long time to do that. But with this method, thanks to automation blocks, we'll be able to do that in um, no time at all. So to show you how this works, um, what we're going to do is clear out this sequence. OK, so the first thing that we'll want to do is we're gonna go to Window and open up our Essential Graphics panel. And there is a shot number Mogert that I created that I will provide a free download for in the description that we need to drag in to our sequence. So that's the first thing we do. And then we just delete it. We don't need it here, but we need to make sure it's in our project. If it's not in our project, and if it's not named shot-number, this will not work. The next thing that you need to do is make sure that your sequence is built like this. All of the clips that you want to number need to be on video track one. OK, if they're not on video track one, this will not work. Now, I like to build my shot sequences, my selects like this so that I keep them separated. And it's easy to see because I keep blank slugs in the middle. Now, what we'll do is go up to window extensions, automation blocks. And inside automation blocks, we are going to find the add shot numbers. It'll be in your user library. And again, this is set under your preferences to whatever this folder is. OK, now add shot numbers. We're going to do that. And we're also going to select the sequence that we want to number. So I've got shot number blank, add shot numbers. And these inputs are all based on the parameters built into this Mogert. What I would suggest is dropping the Mogert into your sequence first, playing around, seeing what you like, and then using those settings up here. Personally, I prefer the default settings because I made it. And that's what we're going to run with. So I'll hit run. And boom, our entire sequence is done. Hey, jumping in real quick because I realized I forgot to say one little thing. Sometimes when you drop in this Mogert, it's built in Ultra HD. So if you drop it into a 1920 by 1080 sequence, sometimes the number won't show up. It just needs to be fit to the screen. So you can right click and say set to frame size and you're in good shape. OK, now back to where we were. What if we wanted to redo that, but we want the number to be on the right hand side of the screen? Well, to fix that, we're going to go to number, come here. And I'm going to again come up here, but I'll say right and then hit run. Look at that. Now, if you do decide that you want to maybe change the look of this number, you're going to need to recreate the Mogert. I'm going to also provide the After Effects project file for you to jump in and work on that Mogert yourself. The important thing to remember is it must be named shot dash number in order for this to work. Just to show you the actual script that we're working with, you can jump in here as needed to adjust this to fit your own personal preferences. If you see all these blocks, you don't get a lot of information about what they are. In order to fix that, you right click and say expand block, and it'll give you more information about what's going on in there. The one that you're probably going to be most concerned with if you're making your own Mogert is going to be this one right here. So if you want to use a Mogert that's not named shot number, you're going to want to change this text inside the sequence to be your Mogert name. And then you can name your Mogert inside your Premiere sequence anything that you want, so long as it matches this. And then you go up and you hit Save. All right, so this is going to conclude our time with automation blocks. I hope that you really enjoyed this short little series and have seen that automation blocks is a extremely powerful and helpful plugin. Again, if you haven't checked out uh, Mammal World's playlist on how to use automation blocks, you need to do that. Here's the link. And I want you to go check out aescripts.com and download this for yourself. The link is in the description. If you like what you saw and thought this was helpful, please subscribe and consider smashing that like button.